Namaste everyone. Hope you're all doing great and safe at your home. Today we are bringing you mindful yoga practice of about 10 minutes. And I must tell you, my friend motivated me to make this video and I'm happy to be doing this. Now, before we start the practice, I would like to share a brief intro of my friend. She is Preeti Puri, a mindfulness coach. She keeps bringing these mindfulness practices to the people and I must say that people are really experiencing great benefits out of it. What mindfulness is. Now if still you have any doubts or queries related to the same, we are sharing the link and you can anytime you can contact her. Now let's get back to our practice. Mindful yoga practice. Now when I'm saying mindful yoga practice, so I want to clear one thing here. Today's goal is not to achieve the exact postures. Today's goal is to bring awareness to the body and see how your body moves with each breath that you make. Okay, so you have to be conscious, you have to be mindful about the body movements that you do and when we do that, yoga becomes mindful. Let's get started. Inhale, look up. Feel the contraction that is happening in the back of your neck. Exhale. Bring your head down, tuck your chin to the chest. Feel the lengthening of the back of your neck. Let's do it three times. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down, tuck your chin to the chest. And like I said, when you are inhaling and looking up, feel the contraction that is happening in the back of your neck. Exhale, tuck your chin and feel the lengthening of the back. And set. Very nice. Okay. Now, bring your hands to the front, palms facing up. Very nice. Now, inhale and exhale. Bring your fingertips to the shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Bring your fingertips to the shoulder. So while you're making this movement, when I'm saying inhaling, you're stretching the hand out in front of you. So you're feeling the stretch in the entire arm. Exhale, bring it back. Let's do it five times. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Be mindful. And back. Very nice. Now, let's do some shoulder rotations. Place your fingertips on the top of the shoulders and join your elbows. Now, start making the rotations. Inhale, while joining, you will exhale. So, you feel the movement that is happening in the upper back as well as in the shoulder. Try to feel those movements. Let's do it five times. Slow and steady. Be mindful, be aware. Number four. And like I said. And number five. Very nice. Okay, now let's repeat it, but in the opposite direction. Inhale, winding the circle. Exhale, while joining. Inhale. are being mindful for the movements that we are doing. Okay, now next one is lateral bend where we are going to feel the stretch on the sideways. Okay? Inhale, raise the hands up and while exhale, bend laterally towards one side. Do not push harder. 
no judgment no expectations and back very nice inhale up exhale bend laterally towards the right side feel it here let's do it three more times inhale up exhale towards left side biceps touching the ears Feel the stretch on the side. Give it take time and feel it. Do not hurry in any of the movements that we are doing today. Exhale to the right side. Being mindful gives you stress relief. And one more time. Inhale up, exhale, right side. Very nice. Give two to three breaths on each movement that we are doing today. Back to the center and down. Very nice. I am feeling great, and I hope you all must be feeling great. Okay. Now next is your spine twist. So focus. What I am doing? Inhale. Bring your hands to the center. You are inhaling. While exhaling, place your left palm on the right knee. Right hand just behind you, and twisting as your body allows you. If your body allows you to this till this point, completely fine. Observe. Observe your body. How it is responding to this twist. With this breath. And bring yourself back. Inhale and exhale. Very nice. Let's do it two more times. Inhale and exhale. out in front of you and sit in the nasana place your hands closer to your hips right here and your spine is erect very nice keep breathing take a couple of breaths here perfect okay and now let's add some glute stretch here bend your right knee now place your right foot on your right elbow you're wrapping your leg you're wrapping your knee and right knee on your right elbow and you're joining the hands together and just trying to pull your heel closer to the chest and feeling the stretch all here in glutes keep breathing with each and every breath that you're taking you're trying to feel the stretch Keep breathing and trying to feel the stretch. Some of you may feel more, some of you may feel less. It is your body, your feeling towards it. Perfect. Okay, and now bring your leg back and straighten it out. And let's repeat it from the left side. Bend your left leg. Very nice. And now place your left heel on the right elbow, left knee on the left elbow and join. 
bring your hands together and try to bring your heel closer to your chest towards you. Keeping the spine straight and keep breathing. I'm not hurry. I'm not in hurry to finish the moment. I'm going to hold it for 20 seconds and I'm going to utilize those 20 seconds to effectively utilize those 20 seconds to feel that movement that is happening, to feel that stretch that is happening. I'm going to look at that stretch and yes, it is happening right in the glutes. Keep breathing. Very nice, okay. And now let's work on the anterior and the posterior chain. So, what I'm going to tell you is, while inhaling, you are stretching the toes out. And while exhaling, you are flexing that feet, toes towards you, okay. While inhaling, you are pointing the toes. So, while you're pointing the toes, you're feeling the stretch to the entire leg, in the shin, in the quad. And then you're releasing, toes, pointed toes and you're making a flex, you're feeling the stretch in the hamstring and in the calf. Okay, let's do it five times, giving a couple of breaths to each movement. Pointing toes, feel the stretch here in the entire leg, exhale, feel the stretch in the calf, in the hamstring. Very nice. Number two. Put those hands here as well. Number Point your toes, feel the stretch from the tip of the toe, turn the entire leg, here on thighs, on quad, I must say on the shin and while exhaling flex your feet, toes pointing towards you when you are feeling the stretch in the calf and in the hamstring. You have to give yourself some time, you have to bring your awareness to the point where I am saying and then definitely you are going to feel it and relax and release. Very nice everyone, and now from here, come into the box position. So this is your box position, palms right under your shoulder, knee under your hip, and let's do some spine stretch. So inhale, arching your back, you're looking up. Feel the arch that is happening in your spine. Exhale, make your spine rounded, and look it down. Cutting your chin. Let's do it three times. Couple of breaths at every moment. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. back to the neutral position very nice and now from here I want you to exhale to child pose keep breathing stay there for a few seconds your feet and do yourself up to your standing posture or you can say Tadasana. So 
we were being mindful throughout all the movements and i want to finish this practice with the last pose the tree pose briksh asana the great posture for bringing balance and coordination to you it brings focus it brings concentration in our movement and when we bring that stability when we bring that calmness in our posture it definitely brings calmness and stability in our lives as well so when we can achieve this we can achieve the same in our lives so let's practice this with calmness okay like like i said no judgment no expectations have patience and being mindful so you are here you're standing in tadasana and now i want you to bring your left foot and place it on your right inner thigh inhale and bring your hands to namaste now exhale now keep breathing into this posture so the idea is to focus at one point and keep focusing if it is getting too difficult to balance on one leg then you can take the support of the wall your back is supporting the wall and still you can do this with regular practicing you will be able to achieve this and if you think you are stable enough you can take your hands up and join your hands together again into namaste now you can see my knee is this knee is pointing out yes it is more depending on my hip opening capacity as well and every one every individual is different but yes with regular practicing everyone can achieve this and nothing is impossible but like i said today's focus is not on focusing the exact posture but to bring the awareness to our body movements bring that stillness bring that calmness and yes be it windy weather or rainy tree will be shaking but again if the roots are stronger it is going to be it is not going to fall it may be weary it may be shaky at times but it will not fall and that practice we have to bring in our lives right and again we are back and down very nice okay now let's try to attain the same balance from other leg you can shake your leg 10 counts 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 are you ready let's finish it happily with the other side as well inhale join your hands together no sorry inhale and now place your right foot on your left inner thigh join your hands together and exhale once you are into this posture the goal is to focus on one thing and keep breathing think what is happening Yes, you are balancing on one leg. And you want to bring that balance in your lives. You want to bring that focus. And if you are stable enough, like I said, if you are stable enough, then take your hands up, join your hands together there, and stay there. for few more breaths with a smile on your face no tension because when you bring that tension that yes it's not happening it's not happening it will never happen believe me because you lose the patience over there and that's what we have to do we don't have to lose patience there is no judgment no expectations just keep doing believe in yourself and slowly bring yourself back and you can exit from the previous way 
done by each one of you and I'm sure you were mindful about today's practice and I was too. I really enjoyed it thoroughly and I hope you too. Stay in touch, stay connected. We will see you soon. Thank you. Get fit. There's a lot of content on our YouTube channel like strength, cardio, HIIT, yoga and skills and many more. So please stay tuned and do subscribe to our channel for more videos.